Hey, welcome. Um, yeah, it is the 8th of the 8th and it's 8 a.m. Actually, there's a couple of minutes past because I'm always late. Um, did I manage to start this thing? No, I didn't. And now there's a German family who just showed up right behind me. <laughs> I'm in my, we're in our room here. Uh, and there's water buffalo in the rice field just behind on the other side of that hedge. And so they've shown up uh, to see the water buffalo. Anyways, that's life, isn't it? Um, I'm sitting on the floor in our, in our room. Uh, <laughs> and now you have little people moving around the window right outside. But anyways, 8th of the 8th. Uh, and the year is 2024, which also adds up to an 8. So it's an 888 day, a uh, powerful portal for abundance, uh, numerologically uh, as well as astrologically in uh, some ways. And um, I thought we would do a live stream. Uh, it is kind of my replacement for chat with Matt, which I managed to fail to do yesterday uh, because I was still a little bit uh, in recovery mode after our retreat last week. And um, I've really been thinking a bit about abundance uh, lately. Hey, Sister Debbie. Yes, that's right. It's called the Lion's Gate because it's in Leo, right? Um, Leo the Lion. Uh, and we're in 8-8, which is pretty much right in the center of the Leo season between 21st of whatever, uh, <laughs> July and 21st of August. Um, Any who's? Thinking about abundance, um, and we just did our retreat and we work with embracing all of life, and part of that is on the uh, fourth day, fifth day, sorry, we embrace abundance. We first of all embrace truth, all about awareness. We embrace um, freedom, which is the ability to use that awareness to make conscious choice. We embrace uh, challenge and change, which is having the fortitude, obviously, to move through what is a difficult process of uh, changing and uh, <laughs> choosing to employ your freedom. And then we move into power, embrace your power, which is really getting over all of the inhibition, really, or the resistance to influencing others. Because when you basically embrace the truth and employ your freedom and find the courage and the confidence to move past challenge and change, you become quite powerful. Um, and that is, that's a difficult thing to do because a lot of us are quite uh, scared of power. A lot of us uh, think that power is corrupt or at least it corrupts people. Um, and we align power with this idea of force and manipulation. Um, and so it's, important in my opinion to help sort of disentangle this concept of being powerful uh, with you know influencing people in positive ways uh, rather than manipulating them or getting your own way um, we can be powerful without entitled without uh, being corrupt without being quote-unquote selfish um, and that's important if we want to make a, a decent uh, go of creating a new society. Many of us who are heart-centered have to be willing to step up and become powerful. Then the fifth day is all about abundance uh, and choosing to recognize that we live in an abundant universe and there is an abundance of opportunity and potential around us always. It always has been. It's not about um, improving or increasing our abundance. It's about recognizing it more than anything. And that's what we're here to talk about today is choosing to see that abundance is not something that you win. Abundance is not um, a bunch of money in the bank. Abundance is not having you know a storehouse of resource, whether that be food or you know um, love. You know, an abundance. But abundance basically means a lot of anything. <laughs> but living in abundance consciousness is this fundamental choice to recognize that it's the world is plentiful the universe is plentiful the universe is actually infinite which you know blows plentiful right out of the water <laughs> when you try and think about it it's very hard of course for our brain to conceptualize um, abundance um, and 
more uh, even more difficult to conceptualize infinite and unlimited right we we have a brain that runs in um, a very strong program of our historic experiences historical experiences that leads us to believe that everything is limited right everything can run out and we have to be careful with our resources and we have to um, we have to nurture and um, and be grateful for our resources from the point of view that we're lucky to have them in the context that other people aren't so lucky, right? And so there's the lucky ones who have and the unlucky ones who have not, you know? And there's this idea that uh, that if I've got something, then someone else is missing out on something. There's this idea of a limited amount of resources and that's where this whole idea of equality comes from. We want to share the resources equally. Well, how do you share infinite equally, you know? How do you really share infinitely equally? So a lot of our concepts that we hold on high pedestals, right? And I'm not saying that it's wrong to desire equality and it's not wrong to want uh, the world to be fair. But the problem is a lot of our fundamental concepts that we um, hold as a, what's that word that starts with P and we think it's important? <laughs> no, not priority. Um, maybe it doesn't start with P. But anyway, a lot of our um, qualities that we think are, are good and virtuous, maybe it was virtue that I was looking for, uh, a V and a P sort of sounds the same. Um, a lot of our virtues, a lot of the qualities that we hold as virtues, like wanting fairness, are built in lack, this fundamental idea that uh, there's a lack of stuff and therefore we need to share it out more equally as opposed to um, lifting everyone up into abundance um, rather than quote unquote chopping down the rich so that it's shared more equally, right? We've got this concept that we need to tax the rich and I'm not saying taxing the rich is bad or wrong, but this idea that we need to do that in order to give to the poor, right? We need to, Robin Hood, we need to take from the rich and give to the poor so that society is more equitable. What if we could just decide to lift everyone into abundance you know, um, and you know, I'm not going to argue monetary policy and all the rest, <laughs> rest of it. And I really want to help us all get out of the idea that abundance is just talking about money or even just talking about wealth, but really um, move into the idea that we all um, we all have enough right now, and we can all have more, and there's no limit to how more we can have. Um, so this is the way forward to, to find acceptance for where we're at rather than being stuck in wanting more and wanting really means lack. You know, if you look in a dictionary pre-1944 or something like that, 1945, if you look in a pre-1945 dictionary, under wanting, it basically says lack. That's, that's the first word, lack. It's lacking. If you are left wanting, you know, the term, oh, they were left wanting, they were left in lack, they were left without something that they needed. Um, that's what want means. Um, and so when we are wanting um, something, we are basically saying that we need that to be happy and we don't have it, therefore we are lacking and we're in lack mentality now, striving to get something that we think we need in order to be happy. Abundance consciousness basically implies or encourages us to be happy right where we are now and to recognize that in that happiness, there is so much more to be experienced and so much more to be enjoyed, that there is an infinite amount of opportunity to be uh, embraced. Excuse me, I've just got to get my water bottle. I managed to get reasonably close, but not as close as I needed. Um, so yeah, as we uh, move forward through this Lionsgate portal and forward with the rest of our lives, It's useful for us to embrace a more expanded understanding of abundance and to really consciously make an effort to consciously choose to embrace abundance consciousness, right? To embrace this, this underlying foundation 
that there is more than enough of everything and that we fundamentally have it already, right? It's not this idea that abundance is out there and I need to somehow win it. You don't win abundance, you recognize it in yourself, right? It, it emerges from within you as you lift your consciousness more effectively into that envelope of existence, into that dimension, if you like. Uh, abundance is, is a residing place for your consciousness. And when you're living from that, uh, that intentional space, then everything, of course, seems more easy. Not that you aren't challenged, of course, because there's, you know, abundance isn't yes or no, it's not on or off. It's not, oh, I've got abundance now, I didn't have it before. You know, all of us in the West are living in abundance, whether we recognize it or appreciate it or not. Um, and of course, there's much more to go uh, for all of us. No one has peaked out on how much you can uh, experience of yourself, right? Abundance is infinite, therefore there's no end. And we're not just talking about money, and we're not just talking about wealth, and I'm not talking about opulence talking about the experience of yourself, the joy, right, of existence, the joy of experiencing your existence as a divine being having a human uh, moment, which is all this really is, right, a human moment in an infinite existence as an individuation of God's source universe. Can we recognize that more so that we can enjoy it more? Uh, not from this place of, you know, sort of lying in a hammock being fed grapes, uh, enjoyment but from a real active down in the trenches enjoyment of the experience right the abundance of experiences that are available to us without any sort of contraction around not having what we what we think we need right the perspective that we are lacking so I'm intending to do a light language uh, transmission on this which I don't do very often on video um, but there you go uh, happy Lionsgate I'm just changing my legs to a more I'm sitting on a tiled floor <clears throat> so I didn't want to start with my legs crossed too early um, anywho so I am recording this uh, here on my little h1 uh, and I will upload this uh, via instant teleseminars and send out a link uh, in a better quality because I recognize that uh, Facebook live streams don't often um, have the best have the best uh, quality so I'm gonna um, record it as well and I'll put the link to that recording below in the comments once I get it uploaded and I'll also send it out in email anywho's my friends uh, allow yourselves to relax allow yourself to find space Allow yourself to find um, acceptance, comfort, right? Comfort leads to acceptance or acceptance leads to comfort, better way of putting it, uh, in your current environment. It might not be perfect. It doesn't matter where or when you are listening to this. It doesn't matter if it's still the 8-8 or whether the time and space has moved on. Allow yourself to embrace the potential for you to discover um, or embrace or have emerged from within you a deeper understanding or a deeper connection with the concept of abundance. Allow yourself to relax into a space, an open space where you are inviting yourself to up level your experience of abundance and your appreciation of abundance. What we appreciate will appreciate, what we focus on we feed when we choose to consciously appreciate the abundance that's available, then we more often than not see more abundance in our life, right? It presents itself, it becomes more obvious to us because we are aligning our vibration with that. If we expect to live in abundance, then we more often than not experience abundance. And now I know a lot of people worry that if they expect abundance, they're gonna become entitled or they're going to become spoiled, or they're going to become even ungrateful, right? If you expect it, then it's kind of like you are not thankful that it comes. But in practice, that's not the truth. In practice, when you expect abundance, you become even more appreciative of it because you start really living it in a very real way. It's not just a treat that you get for being good. 
It's now your mode of operation in the world and you become a beacon of abundance and you influence and inspire others to embrace abundance. And when, we, when none of us are lacking, there'll be no more fighting. There'll be no more com competition. There'll be no more having to push other people down to take what they have because everyone will already feel that they have enough and there is no need to take it from another. There will be no need to compete. There will be no need to change who we are in order to win a affection or, or appreciation because we will already, everyone recognizes they have enough. No one is going to have to settle for the scraps because we have enough. So relax. Relax and allow yourself to be used as a way shower, be used as an inspiration, be used as a beacon to encourage others to tread this path. It's not so easy. It's not so comfortable to embrace abundance because it will naturally, it will naturally trigger your lack mentality programs that have been very well implanted in your field over successive lifetimes, successive hard experiences, you've been trained to believe that lack is the reality. And when you consciously choose to start embracing more abundance consciousness, those lack programs start really singing, really protesting. And that's not comfortable. It's not a comfortable, it's not an easy path forward. It's not complicated, but it will test you. It will require endurance. It will require, require resilience. It will require, require fortitude, dedication, and devotion to yourself and to the process to keep consistently choosing abundance mentality, abundance consciousness, rather than lack mentality. That's a gecko. Uh, and to choose to operate from a foundation of love rather than fear. It's not easy. So don't expect it to be easy and don't think that you are somehow failing when you feel challenged. You are not failing. You are doing exactly what is required. As you step up to the challenge, you step up to the discomfort and you consciously keep choosing to embrace abundance, to embrace love, despite the fact that it feels like you're failing to do so. So relax into this space and allow the language to do the work through your field. Mantara. Most importantly, your higher self. To hold space. To assist. You 
in breaking free. Koko tika tika shabdi kitika from lack mentality. Koko tika tika shabdi kitika eliko roka baka tika tika shabdi kitika vrroba baka tika tika shabdi kitika vrroka mama kita kita tika shabdi kitika vrroka mama kita kita tika shabdi kitika ekita kora kaba baka tika tika shabdi kitika vrroka kita kita shabdi kitika vrroka kaba baka shabdi kitika ekita kora kaba baka baka shabdi kitika vrroba vrroba vrroka baka tika 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 shabdi kitika vrroka mama kita kita tika shabdi kitika vrroka baka tika 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 shabdi kitika vrroba mama mama kita kita tika 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 shabdi kitika ekita kita 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 shabdi kitika vrroka mama kita kita tika shabdi kitika vrroka tika shabdi kitika you don't need to listen koko tika shabdi kitika you don't need to understand koko tika tika shabdi kitika tika tika shabdi kitika the energy koko tika shabdi kitika is shaking loose koko 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 baba kita kita tika shabdi kitika these programs that are implanted in your mental space koko 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 baba kita shabdi kitika vrroka baba kita kita tika shabdi kitika that keep expecting koko tika tika shabdi kitika a program to expect koko tika tika shabdi kitika ekita koko tika shabdi kitika everything to be in lack koko tika shabdi kitika everything to be limited koko tika shabdi kitika ekita koko raka baka shabdi kitika vrroka baba shabdi kitika koko tika shabdi kitika koko tika shabdi kitika influencing you to keep koko tika shabdi kitika fighting for what you think you need koko tika shabdi kitika competing koko tika tika shabdi kitika hoarding storing koko tika shabdi kitika ekita koko tika shabdi kitika all of the resources koko koko raka baba kitika shabdi kitika ekita koko tika shabdi kitika trying to create koko tika shabdi kitika contractual agreements koko tika shabdi kitika that people will keep supplying you koko koko raka tika shabdi kitika with what you think you need to survive or to be happy koko raka baba shabdi kitika ekita koko raka baba kitika tika shabdi kitika raka mama kitika tika shabdi kitika rather than relaxing into trust koko tika shabdi kitika that everything is in abundance koko tika shabdi kitika and everything is in a state of flow koko tika shabdi kitika you can let it go koko tika shabdi kitika because you know more will come through koko tika shabdi kitika you don't need to hoard it koko tika shabdi kitika or store it koko tika shabdi kitika ekita koko tika shabdi kitika or steal it from another koko moko wo raka baba kitika tika shabdi kitika ekita koko tika shabdi kitika when you breathe in koko tika shabdi kitika enjoy the abundance of oxygen that comes into your space the abundance of prana and life force chi or ki koko tika shabdi kitika and when you breathe out you completely let go koko tika shabdi kitika allow yourself to be empty koko tika shabdi kitika trusting that there's an abundance available koko tika shabdi kitika whenever you choose to breathe in again koko 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 baka tika tika shabdi kitika ekita koko tika shabdi kitika if you try and just breathe in and store it koko tika shabdi kitika you will die koko tika shabdi kitika you need to flow koko tika shabdi kitika with the resource of oxygen koko tika shabdi kitika ekita koko tika shabdi kitika ekita koko tika shabdi kitika the same is true of every resource koko tika shabdi kitika ekita koko raka tika shabdi kitika ekita koko tika shabdi kitika you need to let it flow through koko tika shabdi kitika ekita koko tika shabdi kitika toko poko raka baba shabdi kitika raka baba shabdi kitika you receive love you give love koko tika shabdi kitika ekita koko tika shabdi kitika if you want to receive more love give more love koko tika shabdi kitika let it flow koko tika shabdi kitika ekita koko raka tika shabdi kitika it's the same no different with money koko tika tika shabdi you have to be willing to invest it koko tika shabdi kitika have to be willing to use it in experiences koko poko raka tika shabdi kitika eka tika tika shabdi kitika rather than just wanting it koko tika shabdi kitika because it makes you feel safe to have it koko poko poko shabdi kitika eka tika raka tika shabdi kitika choose to be safe in the flow koko tika tika shabdi kitika eka tika raka tika shabdi kitika it requires trust koko tika shabdi kitika eka tika raka baba shabdi kitika toko shabdi kitika it will come and it will go koko tika shabdi kitika you get to enjoy it while it's there koko tika shabdi kitika eka tika tika shabdi kitika toko tika shabdi kitika toko tika shabdi kitika toko tika shabdi kitika roka mama kitika tika shabdi kitika letting it go so a new iteration can emerge koko tika shabdi kitika eka tika tika shabdi kitika this is how evolution occurs koko moko shabdi kitika things have to die so that new things can emerge this is evolution koko tika shabdi kitika relationships come and relationships go koko tika shabdi kitika so that new relationships can emerge koko tika shabdi kitika you don't need to hang on koko tika shabdi kitika so tightly koko tika shabdi kitika 
to every relationship in your life. Scared to let them go. Because then you think you'll be alone. You think you'll be empty. You think you'll be lacking. So you put up with suboptimal experiences. You put up with disharmony. Because you're scared. You're in lack. You're not willing to let go to make space for something new to emerge. So breathe right down into your core. Breathe into your solar plexus. And allow yourself to experience. An upwelling of the energy that is there. Your solar plexus is infinitely deep. An infinitely deep well of energy. Allow it to ignite so that you can experience it more fully. You can experience it and appreciate it as a strong foundational core of your being. Your soul's essence supporting your physical experience. You already have an abundance of energy. Of course, some days your body will feel tired as it integrates and upgrades. But it's not due to a lack of energy. It's due to a requirement for stillness. A requirement for integration time. You're not lacking energy. You're called to rest. Because it's important for you to renew and upgrade. You're not lacking anything. It's just part of the flow. When the tide goes out, at the beach, it's not due to a lack of ocean. It's just part of the flow. We know that the tide will come back in. So we don't need to try and save the ocean in buckets because we're worried it's going to disappear. We just know that the tide is out. It's part of the flow. Similarly, in physicality, your experience of energy will ebb and flow. You'll have high times and low times. It's not due to lack. You're not lacking anything. You're experiencing the natural rhythms. Summer comes. Followed by winter. We don't try and save the sunshine. The days become shorter because it's part of a natural flow that gives us the joy of experiencing seasons. These contrasts help us enjoy our experience here on the planet. There's no lack of sun just because we're experiencing winter or experiencing night. Dawn will come. Summer will come. The same is true of wealth. Of money. Of prosperity. Of the experience of love. Or affection. There is an ebb and a flow. It might not be as regular. It might not be as predictable. But the point is, is not to freak out that you've lost something. That you're lacking something. Now you need to fight to get it back off someone else. Relax. Trust. Align yourself energetically with what you are desiring. 
Tikka so that you can recognize it, Koko Tikisha Bikitika, and allow it to manifest back into your external experience. As we have said many times before, the answer to living a more joyful life, the answer to experiencing more abundant consciousness is fundamentally to relax. And that, of course, requires you to fundamentally trust. Trust in life so that you can relax. Relax more deeply so that you can experience the trust. As you relax, you can naturally align yourself in abundance. When you are stressed, you will become railroaded into lack. When you are stressed, biologically, you are going to become very attracted to the perceived threats and dangers of lack the lack of safety, the lack of security, so let go of your stress, do what you have to, remove from your life, the broadcasts of danger, so that you can fundamentally relax into a space. Where you feel safe in yourself. When you can feel the goodness of this creation. And recognize the abundance of opportunities to experience yourself expansively, creatively, uniquely, joyfully and purposefully. Consciously, consistently keep encouraging yourself to relax into abundance. It requires effort, but don't employ so much effort that you get stressed. It is a thin line to stay dedicated and devoted without becoming contracted in stress, wanting, hoping, trying. Let go of measuring if you are being successful in relaxing into abundance. It's near impossible to measure. And as long as you are trying to measure, you are still operating from doubt. So let go of allowing the doubts to overly influence your actions and your mentality. And trust, and relax into trust, in a very intentional way. Relaxation is a very intentional activity. It's not just blobbing out. Of course, you can blob out for a while, but ultimately, to truly relax into abundance consciousness, 
Dikidika requires you to maintain an intentionality. Koko Tikishal, Bikidika, Eka Tukutikishal, Bikidika, Vodra Oka Babishal, Bikidika, Tukutishal, Bikidika, Tukutishal, Bikidika, to maintain your attention. Koko Tikishal, Bikidika, on fostering. Koko Tikishal, Bikidika, a deepening of the experience. Koko Voko Shal, Bikidika, Tukutishal, Bikidika, because naturally as you blob out and think that you are relaxing. Koko Tikishal, Bikidika, Eka Tukutikishal, Bikidika, lack mentality will start to manipulate your thought process. The program runs deep. It's going to require some effort to liberate us all from the program of lack mentality. Don't underestimate the effort that will be required. But choose to progress in a relaxed way. This is the conundrum. This is the contradictory process. To keep applying effort, to keep staying diligent and devoted, and dedicated, but keep doing it in a relaxed, confident, trusting way. There is no lack. There's no lack of opportunity. There's no lack of resource. Relax. Into this fundamental truth. And do your best to align with it. With compassion. The way forward is with compassion. With loving understanding. Fear based. Criticism. And discipline. With the idea of punishment. Won't get you where you want to go. Let go of the old ways of doing things. Let go of the patriarchy and the hierarchy. We're moving into a new paradigm. Embrace it. With love, with abundance. And so it is. It is so. Now and always and in always. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I have a feeling I've gone way longer than I anticipated. Oh, not so bad. I don't have much um, concept of time when I'm channeling. Anywho, uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, I'm glad you guys uh, appreciate that. Um, if you have any comments or concerns or whatever, uh, suggestions, uh, please feel free. In the comments are available below uh, whether you're watching this on uh, Facebook or whether you're watching it uh, on YouTube I'll intend, I intend to upload it to YouTube I'll also send out uh, links in an email uh, I'm very happy for you to email me back if you're on our email list if you're not on our email list you can get there by going to mantara.nz m-a-n-t-a-r-a dot n dot uh, not dot but dot n-z no second dot you know what I mean, New Zealand, NZ for New Zealand, uh, and there's a link, and you'll get some free MP3s, um, and then you'll be on our email list, and you'll get our emails, which are not particularly abundant at the moment, <laughs> who knows what the future might bring, anyway my friends, I will love you and leave you there, I uh, look forward to catching up with you next week for Chat with Matt, I will be in Sri Lanka at that stage, uh, we're currently in Vietnam, just uh, integrating after our last retreat. That went really well. 
uh, and looking forward to doing another retreat uh, 1st of September uh, from the south coast of Sri Lanka. Anyway, my friends, much, much love to you all. I'll speak to you again soon. Bye for now. Bye-bye.